Hi everyone, I am Mohammad Sajab K, Assistant Professor, Bivak Software Development System Administration, MES College, Marbali. I am going to give you a tutorial. Which we are going to build an application that will load a picture from a file and also it will display it in a window. So we are going to develop such an application. This will help you to learn how to use the Windows Form Designer to drag controls like uh, buttons and picture boxes to your form and also set their properties and also we can use some containers to smoothly resize the form. Okay. There are some tasks. These are the task set that we are going to do. The tutorial will work going through this following task. First one is to create a new project. After that, we will test or debug an application, a simple blank application, which means which is a default application. Okay, we will test it, and after that, we will add some basic control like uh, checkbox and uh, buttons, like to like something like that to the form. And after that, we will position that controls on a form and uh, is, uh, by using some layouts and all and after that we will add some dialog boxes like uh, open a file or color or something some dialog boxes will be added to that and finally we will write some code using the uh, snippets code and snippets and the intelligence by visual studio and also we will use some event handlers as well okay so that's the thing we are going to do So first of the first of all we are we have to create a project right so we have to create a windows for my project we will go for the first one i'm going to open that visual studio 2019 the visual studio 2019 is opening now yes this is the window i'm going to create a Windows form app project. So I am clicking this create new project. Yes, then here a lot of things are available. We are going to create that Windows form application, right? So by selecting this Windows form application, it will create something over here and I will select a, a descriptive application according to that Windows form application. So this is one Windows Form application using .NET Framework. So I will click it and click on next button. Then I will name that name. Okay, I will name my project. I'm going to name my project. Uh, I think it will be like Picture Weaver. Okay. So picture V I E Viewer app. Okay, picture weaver app. That will be my project name and the solution name is also picture weaver app. Okay. Then I am clicking that create button. The project is creating now. yes my our visual studio is started now then we are going to do other things so we are just running this testing this application for simple Okay, I'm running this application just testing an application just to check everything else is okay that's it yes 
yes it is here so all things okay o okay then I am closing this application then I am trying to start what adding all things to my project okay So we are adding some properties to our form. This is a form available. And just renaming that form name. It will be form 1 by default. Then I am just renaming that to uh, picture viewer. Okay. Also I am changing that text to form 1 and I am changing text to picture viewer application ok so I am searching for the text or text yes text it is here picture viewer ok then it is changed over here picture viewer I will resize this window to a comfortable size. I think I will go with this size and it will be like 350 comma 350. Okay. So we can enter it whatever we want or either we can drag it like this. Okay. Either we can drag it like this. So I will put it as a default 550 comma 350. Okay. And, uh, and once again I am just checking that my application is ok so I am just testing once again yes it is available here the name is changed and all thing ok then we are going to input some controls into our form so we are going to develop something different in our form we are giving that layout form with some table layout control available in the left side of the toolbox okay so here we are going to insert what table layout control it will be available in the toolbox it will also contained in this containers there will be option called containers so here is the list and it is available that table layout panel is available here so we are it is a container so it will hold some data or so hold some something here so i am clicking that tab layout panel just double clicking that it will be appear in the form and also we can add controls buttons checkboxes and all labels to that so that's why i am adding a table layout panel okay so this is c table layout panel task there are a lot of tasks are available we can add or remove a column or add we can add a or remove a row or we can edit that row and column as we wish okay then i am going to this thing so the uh, here table layout panel one is by default then i am going to do what just I have to just uh, give some properties to my table layer panel so in the properties window I am selecting the dock I am going to click the dock and I will uh, full fill it so it will automatically fill it like this and uh, I I think uh, you can understand it I can also use this drag option to drag this window like this then also I can I am going to uh, make some changes so I am just uh, dragging this line to column to resizing these columns and rows so by either we can make it in the option there is an arrow is available here we can uh, use this editor row option or we can just drag this thing okay so here I am just using the drag option for 
is he working and we are going to add our controls to the form okay first one is I am going to add a picture box a picture box is used to what it is used for showing some picture in my form by double clicking it it, it will be inserted, uh, inserted to the first column by default so we can uh, do one thing we can also set some sizes and all to this okay so we can manage it it will be normal or stretch or auto size center image and all things it will be available in the picture task so that will be like I will do one thing we can click on this dock in parent container so it will be automatically like this will be filled in that column so when I am doing that undock then it will be uh, in back to the previous position then when I click into dock in parent container then it will be full filled uh, in that column okay and also we can do another thing I will fill it over I will fill it over this column also so I am going to the properties okay so I am going to the properties and uh, there is a called uh, column span so I am just it is one already here so I am make it as two so it is spread over here okay and uh, when it is one it will be filled over here and uh, I am changing it to two so it is filled over it like that okay I hope it is clear then that's the thing I'm just doing for updating something look like I'm just giving something to my application then if I want to if nothing is selected here which means if I am selecting some picture here then it will be displayed over this space if uh, any no picture is there which means this picture box is empty then we have we want to show some frame right so we can set some border style to it okay it will be border style is available here so we can have uh, available some fixed 3d which will be like something will be displayed fixed with 3d I have set it to border style to fixed with 3d and also I am just clicking this what table layout window and I am adding a checkbox ok a checkbox so I am giving a checkbox to another uh, next column so it is available here so because of these two cells are filled with the picture box it will be filled in the third column here by default and also I am clicking that checkbox name so checkbox CB1 I'm naming it like this and uh, in the text property I am adding it as stretch okay so when I click on this uh, text uh, checkbox it will be showed as stretch okay then one field is empty here right so I am going to add one table layout panel not flow layout panel okay flow layout panel is adding here yes it is automatically filled over here and I, uh, I want to fill it as a dock right so I am clicking here and a dock in parent container so it will be filled like this and then we are going to what to add some 
buttons to this flow layout panel. So, I am adding button, button, I am searching for button here, 1, 2 and 3, 3 button I have added it here. So, and I will add one more, okay. First one is for close. So, when I when I am going to close my app, then I will click on that. So, close and I will rename it as btn button close okay button close then next one is set the background color okay so btn set bg and it will be the text will be set background color okay background background color okay then the third one will be clear the picture so text will be clear the picture picture i'll name it as btn clear okay btn clear fourth one is show a picture okay so the name will be btn show and uh, name will be show the picture okay so we show the picture okay then I am going to fill it over here so I am going to select all this button and I will click that auto size to true so it will be filled like this okay then I think I can drag it as I wish so I will do one thing I will go with this picture box I will go with that table layer panel and I will do one thing I will increase the area to show the picture so it is like this I hope it is clear now and it is managed and uh, I will do one thing it will be dock I will go for dock and it will be like this okay okay so everything is ready then I will run this application for just seeing it how it took likes yes so the application look like this and the picture will be displayed over here okay so these buttons there are a lot of buttons here and a checkbox here okay So these are the changes that I have, we have added and then I have we know that the picture box is here check box is here and all things are available here so we are given that close button and we are all giving close button set BG and uh, clear button and also show button all things are ready for now and we are then we are going to double click on what show the picture okay so we are going to code here write the code so I am double clicking this show button which means show the picture so the code will be automatically generated over here So here we are going to do one thing what we are going to display a picture so that is command we have to going to create okay 
so I am selecting all these button like that so clear the picture then set background color BG close button so each and every even handlers are generated here because when I am clicking on that uh, show button the code will be worked over here when it is clear when it is background and when it is close okay so I can add some code I can write some code to the all of these things and uh, I can I will whenever this button is clicked then the that thing will be what performed okay so this is the even handlers we have these are the methods and we are calling it as even handler so when I click when I click on that button a particular set of instructions will be performed like that okay then we are going to what we are adding some dialogue components right so we are here we are going to add some dialogues to that toolbox so I will go for what I will go for this thing under dialogue okay dialogue so in the dialogue boxes we can we have to open what one file right so I am clicking that open file dialogue so I am double clicking that so it is displayed over here then I am also adding a color dialogue right so I am adding a color dialogue box color dialogue box So the all things are available here, the dialog boxes are available here. Then I am going to select this open file dialog one and I am setting a filter to it. Okay. So I have added these JPG files, then PNG files you can see that png files it is also a picture file right then pmp so i have added some picture type files okay and i have also already added that all files okay so that's the things i have added and i am giving that set the title where is the title yep i am adding a title which means uh, when the dialog box appears I have to give some name that so select the picture right select the picture okay so select the picture select the picture not sorry select a picture so I am giving select a picture so the filter property will do what it will specify what kind of files which will be displayed in the select picture dialog box that is the option that we have set then we are going to write the code for what that button handles which means that even handles we are going to code that boxes so first one we are going to select is you know that whenever we click that show the picture the app what app will open that open dialog box which means open a file from the computer if the user is clicking that uh, on the button which will show the picture or something like that okay then we whenever a user is chooses that button the show the picture button and they have select one file from that or dialog box up here then we have to display it in that picture box right so we have to 
insert some properties to that to write the code we have to add some event to that button so in the show picture show picture dialog box i'm going to write some code i'm adding if if we have to mention it open dialog one dot what one dot show dialog is equal to what dialog result dot ok if the result is ok then we have to do what we have to show that or load that picture right so picture one dot load we have to load what that dialog box right we have to load that file from the dialog box open file dialog dot open file dialog one dot file name okay I will run this once again. Okay, so when they show up the picture which you yes, the dialog box appear and the list of files, the filter is available here. So we can select that picture, right? So I'm going to select one picture from dialog, then open, then it is opened over here. But the alignment is not clear but it is open here right so then we will the three buttons are remaining and uh, stretch is also available here so we we have to do something for that now there is no function is available for these buttons and this checkbox so like we did for the show the picture we have to set some properties and events to these three buttons and the stretch okay so i'm closing now so we are going to write codes for the additional buttons available and also the checkbox okay so we are going to set the clear the picture so when in the clear the picture we have to clear the picture available in the picture box right so in the picture box picture box dot one sorry picture box one dot what image image is equal to what null okay so the picture will be cleared when we click that clear button then we have to go for the next one what set the background color right so set the background color it will show what it will show the dial it will show the color dialog box okay so if the user click on the set background color button and clicks okay then the the color must be changed the background color must be changed right so we are checking that if color dialog box color dialog one one dot show dialog is equal to we are checking that dialog result dot ok is it ok then we have to do is picture one picture box one dot what back color right back color 
because we have to change that background color. So back color is equal to what? Color the the color that is we have selected from the dialog box. So color dialog one dot what color. So it will automatically call what the color that is selected from the color dialog box. Okay. Okay. Then in the close button, right? In the close button, we have to close what the currently window. So we will close that this dot close. It is very easy. This dot close. Okay. So it will be closed. Then there is an one another anything else for now. Show the picture done. Clear the picture done. Set the background picture done. Then close one. Ah yes, uh, that checkbox is right. Okay. So in that checkbox we have to done something. If the user select the stretch checkbox, we have to do what? It will change the properties of that picture box and we have to set it to stretch, right? If the user clears the checkbox, then it will change to the normal. So, we are checking whether that checkbox is checked or not. Okay, so we are using if condition if checkbox What's the name we have given? One second. The name we have given is CB1. Okay. So CB1. So CB1. Right. CB1. Right. CB1. Okay. If CB1 dot what? If CB1 dot check whether it is checked, we have to do one thing. What we have to stretch that image. So picture box one dot size. That's it. Size that size mode will be changed to what. picture box size mode dot word stretched so it will be stretch image okay if not in else picture box one dot size mode is equal to picture mode size mode dot normal I'm saving it and I'm trying to do one thing I'm just run my app and try if all these things are ready or not so I'm going to start my I'm running my app so it is available here and I'm show the picture when the dialog box appears I'm selecting uh, this thing and I click on open then it is click over here then I click on stretch then yep it is available when I'm not stretching this then it will be displayed normal then I will do one thing I will click on this set background color so there are a lot of this is these things are available so I am selecting this now this color and I am clicking ok so the background color is changed then check it so the background color is changed you can check it over here so then I will once again open that file now okay then I am clear the picture so it is done then I am clicking that close button the application is closed done whole thing is ready so that's done 
you you will just go through the video one or two times so it will be very helpful for you to create such an application i hope you can understand this because it is very simple all these functions are by using what intellisense so all of these are the properties of each application so this is the thing we have we are going to done these are the code list so we can code it by double clicking this and it will be automatically displayed over here so i'm just using that if and else things here i hope you have understood this thing thank you for watching thank you